What on earth could that ship be doing? Oh, pardon me. Did you see something? Yes. A strange ship has been appearing in this harbor ever since the start of the war. It's a decrepit old sailing ship, and it always shows up on foggy nights. Has it tried to harm you? No, it's just an eerie sight, though you can hear screams coming from it. That's the ship. It's still prowling around. this fog come from? <gasps> it's heading for us! What do we do? There's nobody on board. An actual, real-life ghost ship? Ha-ha! Guess that yet breathe! A rare honor! <laughs> Have you found what you are looking for? Hmm? What do you know of this? So you can read the hearts of men, Windvestor. Amazing. You have a second sight. Welcome to our pirate ship, the SS Funky Francisca. I am Captain Barbarossa, leader of the Black Blade Naval Force. You must be the Windvester and her companion. A pleasure to meet you. I am a ranking member of the Black Blade. Of course I've kept abreast of your comings and goings, Vestal. You have made quite a name for yourselves, in fact. Were you not aware? <laughs> I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. <laughs> I leave the helm to you, me matey. We'll make this a fair fight. Yar! Yar! The ship is coming apart. How clumsy of me to step through the deck. <laughs> I sail this ship in search of a certain something prized by the commander and myself. You might call it adventure. Surely you don't have to be a man of the sea to know that. I know what you speak of. A man's soul craves nothing more than the romance of adventure. Well, aren't you two getting on famously, Ringabelle? Perhaps it is something women and children can never understand. If you think about it rationally, it does seem absurd. But absurd or not, it is adventure I seek. And the years I have spent wandering the seas in folly have shown me many truths. That's it! The truth! Now, let us have a little fun. See how you fare against my great axe!
own your allies have bested me, Windvestor. Such power. <laughs> Forgive me. I was not able to find the Susano O. <laughs> If it was the Susano O you sought, we found it. It exists. Your quest was not in vain. <laughs> it has all been in vain. The war we started in this realm, the deaths of both ally and foe, and the demise of the Fire Vestal. Do you not think so? You who resemble a disciple I once favored. Then there is nothing left to be said. I shall let my faithful blade do the talking.
After all the glory I brought them all, pack me up to the boondocks to patch up wounded soldiers. If anyone deserves credit, it's you, Dr. Kata. You treat not only your wounded allies, but the wounded shield bearers who fought against you. I have to admire you for that. <laughs> You are somewhat misguided. Can you not understand that I need as many live bodies as possible for my experiments? I cannot simply use wounded allies as specimens, can I? It is far cheaper and more efficient to use captured enemies. Do you not agree? We heard what you had to say for yourself. What? Who goes there? My name is Adia Lee. Adia Lee? Uh, you can't mean you're the Grand Marshal's daughter! We must put an end to him now! Of course!
cannot end here. I have left so many experiments undone. My <coughs> toxins could kill you in seconds. <coughs> That's all. Welcome, Wind Vessel. I see you have companions, too. Well met. I am Daniel Good, commander of the Shield Bearers. I must apologize on behalf of my soldiers. They did not know who you were when they stopped you. No need to apologize. After all, you were kind enough to grant us the audience we saw. I am happy to accommodate you. Now, what is it I can help you with? We have come to these lands to journey to the Temple of Fire and awaken the crystal there. The Temple of Fire? I am afraid that... Yes, we are aware the way there has been buried in lava. What is the current status of the Mithril Mine? The Mithril Mine? The sword bearers have occupied it at times, though we usually rest it back from them. Currently, it is not held by either side. I see. Thank you very much. Oh, would you be able to grant us permission to stay in Hartjaw? Of course. The shield bearers welcome the Vestal and her companions. Feel free to rest your travel-weary bones in town. Someone, show the Vestal and her companions the way. I've been expecting you. Oh, Commander Goodman. Good to see you made it home. I came as soon as I could when I heard the Wind Vestal was holding a banquet in my honor. A banquet? My wife is also most pleased. You can see she's all in a bustle getting things... Commander Goodman, please call your wife in here at once. What? What? Why? Just do it, please. Eleanor! We were too late! No, there may still be time. Just play along, everyone, okay? What is wrong? Nastasha is dead. She was not breathing and had no pulse. We believe a blow to the back of her head with a blunt object is what killed her. But we haven't found a weapon. We've placed her body in bed for now. I'm more concerned at the fact that the front door won't open, right? This is all feeling very familiar. What do we do? We cannot let anyone get killed needlessly. Let us head to the bedroom. Commander Goodman, I must ask you and the others to stay here. All right, but what is going on? What? Commander Goodman and Officer Neuer were killed? Who could have done it? It could be the covert unit of the Black Blades. Perhaps one of them disguised themselves as the servant. Yeah. <sighs> How the heck? As we thought! So you have discovered my room. I never expected you to notice I was merely posing as a corpse. How clever of you. Ha! Just as I suspected! I have yet to slay my mark. Trust the wind vessel and her troop to show up at the worst possible time. Well, it seems I have no choice, but... Yeah, we know. You can skip this beach, Conway, Kikyo. Here she comes!
Any last words before you meet your maker? So, the ninja chooses to remain silent upon her death? You think? It looks like she has something to say. Look, she's changed her disguise again. I used the turmoil as the war drew to a close to finally round up the shield-bearer commander and his two top officers. But all of my effort has been for naught. All were going to plan until I used the wind vessel to lure my victims. And you all come sauntering in out of nowhere and ruin everything. That is the last time I trust alternates for information. I pitted Officer Steiner and Neuer against each other. For all that time. Yet you got me in the end. Wind Vestal. <sighs> she got that off her chest quick. Wind Vestal, what on earth is going on? Yes, indeed. Without an explanation, we are all in the dark. Well, to put it plainly, a ninja of the Black Blades had disguised herself as the servant Nastasia and plotted to kill you all. She used the Wind Vestal's name to get you here. We were able to stop her in time, though. Astounding! And those invitations... Completely fabricated. How could this happen? The Shield Bears almost suffered a tremendous loss. How did you see through the enemy's ruse, Wind Vestal? She saw a vision. Ah. Wait, Medea! Let it go. It's not too far from the truth, after all. Oh, one more thing, Eleanor. Uh, yes? You would do well to check the cellar. You may find Nastasia tied up down there. I will. I guess that's case closed, then. Thank you so much, Lady Vestal. You have done us a great service. Yes. Well... <laughs>